it's been cool. Um, obviously, you know, having that opportunity to make money, like you said, um, it's cool. But, you know, I kind of want to not just make money. I kind of want to, like, do it in the right way. So, you know, I kind of, you know, I'm partnering with, you know, the health lines, you know, the vaccine stuff, you know, persuading people on that. Um, you know, going to the, you know, the youth club, talking to those guys, those those younger kids in the community. Um, just, you know, trying to just do the little things, you know, my part. Um, just not doing it all for the money, just, you know, trying to make a, make, you know, inspire kids, you know, to have this opportunity, you know, to keep believing in their dreams. Mm -hmm. And I know I talked to you a couple years about this and you said you thought that, you know, college athletes should get paid. Now you're at that point. Where, where do you want to take it next? What are some goals that you have? Um, I kind of want to, I want to give back, you know, I want to give back, you know, back in my hometown. I want to give back, I want to give some money, you know, to the communities, you know, I grew up in, you know, and, you know, go to those type of events back home and, you know, have the opportunity, you know, to maybe inspire those kids. So um, that's just my whole plan right now. And and finally, what excites you most about this season? Um, Being back in here, um, you know, with full arena, you know, um, Orange Crush, you know, I, that is that is the one thing that I love about, you know, playing in here, you know, is having Orange Crush behind our backs, you know, just having this place, you know, at max capacity. So I'm very excited, you know, to suit up, obviously, one more time again. <laughs> um, but, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, ex I'm very excited. Awesome. Thank you, Trent. Trent. Five years ago, you and DeMonte walked into a program with the new head coach that needed some work to get back on level footing. How far have you guys come with this program? We came far. I'm, I'm, I'm so, you know, it's ecstatic, you know, to be a part of this program, you know, to be a part, you know, of the change, you know, to help, you know, build this program, you know, to a winning program, uh, to get it back on, you know, on the map. Um, and like I said, you know, it's, you know, it's, it's been an honor playing against, playing aside, you know, Demonte, you know, we've been, like you said, we've been here from day one. We know what, we know how it's been. So. Um, I'm just excited, you know, to continue to build this program and, you know, ma make sure it's headed in the right and, direction. Any recordings? <laughs> any recordings? <laughs> <laughs> My man's hack. <laughs> Who's My that? Man's. You, you, look. We're not even hacking. Yeah, We're taking pictures. We're taking a look. picture. Look. Don't hack, man. You don't have. A, you don't even have a ball. You don't even have a basketball in your hand. <laughs> <laughs> What's the biggest thing you learned about yourself over five years and getting this back up? Um, sacrifice. Um, you know, um, you know, obviously, you know, obviously being one of those guys that can you know score the ball. You know, at, you know coming in as a freshman, but you know as we you know our team got better. You know, we got those type of guys. You know, those dudes on this team that you know help you know change this program, help us win more games. You know, um, I decided you know to figure you know figure out what you know what else I can do to help my team win and so that's sacrifice is one of the huge things you know that I've you know brought into my game and you know and I, and I take pride in that. Do you and Demonte ever look around and just say oh, wow this is a little different than it was when we were 18? Uh, all the time you know it's it's crazy you know we've we've we literally had a, a whole roster of new players you know if, if you if you want to say that you know what 14 guys there's 12 different players on this team that we didn't have uh, my first, you know, two years. So um, it's it's interesting, but you know, like I said, I'm I'm ex ex ecstatic, you know, to be a part of this program still, and you know, get to play, you know, um, for this university, and put this jersey on every night in front of this this fan. Uh, you're uh, going up against Alfonso Palmer. I know he's your roommate too, right? Mm -hmm. um, but what do you like to go up against on the, on the court and defend him? He is a problem because um, <laughs> he will be the best shooter in the country this year. Really? And um, like I say, he's a problem. He's what, a challenge. Why? What, what makes him so good? Um, the way, the way, you know, the way he, he can shoot the ball, he shoots the ball at a high clip. Um, I don't think I've ever played someone like that that can shoot as quick as me. Okay. Um, I never know when he's shooting the ball. So he's going to give defenders problems this year, you know, you know, running around off screens and, you know, being able to, you know, you know, free up everybody else because they're going to be so worried. So um, he's going to bring a lot of attention to himself, but, you know, he's going to have a successful year. And, I'm, you know, I'm very excited, you know, have him be a part of this family and this team, you know, and he's, you know, we're headed around. Why right guys, guys, you guys get hooked up as roommates? Like, how did that happen? Um, I kind of wanted to be with someone older. So, you know, I decided, you know, room with, you know, um, a plumber. Obviously, him being a new guy, I wanted to take him in, you know, 
um, you know, show them the ropes, you know, see how everything was, make them be com feel comfortable. And, you know, we, that's that's my best friend, you know, and we, we, we hang out 24 seven, you know, like I said, I'm excited to have him be a part of this family. Coach Aaron Wood talked about uh, pushing the pace a little more this year, shooting some more threes. Is that something you guys feel on that? Are you really excited for that opportunity? That's the type of basketball we want to play. We played it last year. We're going to be even faster this year. Um, like I said, we're going to be even going to shoot a three ball at a high clip this year. We have a lot of different players. We have a lot of depth. Um, those younger guys can shoot the ball. Um, one through 14, you know, everyone can shoot the ball. Everyone can make a play. And so, like, we, we're going to play really fast. And, you know, I'm excited for that. And I think it's going to be very good for us. Hey, Trent, on the NIL front, I know you were, were preparing for July 1st to happen. Just have the last three months kind of gone as you expected, or were there any surprises to it? Or um, it's kind of it kind of blew up, you know. Obviously, me, um, I, I have my my someone I work with. Um, you know, he's very special to me. My guy, he helps me. You know, obviously with the back end, you know, because you know he, he he knows more people. But um, it, it blew up. You know, I didn't expect it to happen like this. It's moving really fast. And it's, you know, I'm very excited because it's a huge opportunity for me, you know, to put money in my pocket, you know, to maybe, you know, book some flights for my family to come down and, you know, get them here. So it's, it's exciting. So, and, I, you know, I'm going to continue to, you know, take full advantage of it, and, you know, and, and use, use that, you know, that opportunity in the best way. Did you always intend to you know, use it in the other way as a platform to talk with kids, to to give back? I mean, was that always part of the plan? Oh, I always was. I always wanted to do something like that, you know, just kind of knowing where I come from. You know, um, I know how hard it is, you know, growing up in, you know, certain communities where, you know, you don't have these type of opportunities. So, you know, being able to, you know, go in those environments and, you know, give back to kids, you know, speak to them and just, you know, continue to inspire those kids to continue to believe in their dreams. Um, it, it's, it's important and, you know, and I hope, you know, I can, you know, me, what I'm doing, I hope it, you know, it continues to Good. help these kids, you know, live their dream. How has it changed life, NIL? Like, how has it changed your life, like, day to day? Oh, it hasn't changed my life. <laughs> uh, my life is the same way. It just puts a few more dollars in my pocket. Yeah. Um, I still got to come in here and practice. Still got to go to class. Yeah. Still got to do everything I was doing before. Uh, all I do is just have a few more dollars in my pocket, so. Um, yeah. Is that has it been a huge, like, huge benefit for you guys? Like, like just how, how big of an impact has it made for you? Um, like I said, I mean, other than putting a few more dollars in my pocket, um, you know, and using my, you know, my NIL opportunity in the right way, um, that's about, you know, all it did, has done for me. But also, you know, it kind of, you know, building, I'm building my brand, my mar I'm marketing myself in the right way. Um, and I just got to continue to take advantage of that, you know, and do the right thing. Some guys